Next up, we wanna go ahead and talk about slope and then uh, possibly some functions. So the thing about slope is you just may have to recognize it on the test. And the, um, to show you on the graphs here is just a little easier. So on this right here, this is showing us a positive slope. How do I know it's positive? Well, just like you read, you read from left to right, always read your graphs from left to right. So if I start here and I go left to right, you can see that it's going up. And as it goes up, that's positive, associate up with positive. As you can see on this one right here, this is our negative. As I go from left to right, I go down, associate down with negative. So if we see lines like this, they don't have to have any numbers on them, just like you see here. There's no values on the X or Y axis, and there's no numbers anywhere else, but I can prove to you that these are positive and negative slopes just by the way that they look. Down here, we're just showing you the difference between a horizontal line and a vertical line. And what's key here is a horizontal line actually has a slope, but it's a slope of zero, and that's why it goes right across. It doesn't go up at all, it doesn't go down at all. And then finally, for our vertical line, vertical line is going up and down. Problem with a vertical line, we call vertical lines undefined. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that right now. So when we talk about a function, when given a graph and they ask you what a function is, my best advice to you is do what's called a vertical line test. A vertical line is not a function because when you have x values, they cannot repeat themselves in a function. And so when I take a straight line and I go down, it just means this. On that vertical line, can you make that vertical line touch the line that we have there more than once? And if that's a no, then the line is a function. If it touches more than once, it's not a function. So you can see here, the only time it touches is right there. That's not a function, I'm sorry, that is a function. And then the same thing here, as I go down, I intersect right here, that is a function. And then horizontal lines, all horizontal lines are also functions just like that. The problem with the vertical line is if I put a line on, you know, going through the line, well, the only spot I can pick is right here on this X. And it just so happens to be every single point. And that's why that is not a function. So just a quick function, if you're given the graphs, make a straight line up and down. If it touches more than once, it's not a function. When we deal with slope and they're giving you coordinates, to find slope, it's the change in y over the change in x. Each one of these coordinates, one is an x, one is a y, okay? You take two points and you just subtract it. We're finding the difference. And when we find the difference, we just mean I want to subtract this one to this one and this one to this one. Really simple, really straightforward. I got a great problem for you on the next page to do that. So when we talk about functions, it's going to give you the graph and it's going to ask you which of the following is a function. And remember, we just take a line that goes straight up and down. And with that straight up and down line, if we can make it hit the line in the graph more than once, it's not a function. So on this graph, there's no way where I can put a straight uh, vertical line and it touched more than once. That's the only place it can touch if I do it that way and it goes across. So therefore, this is a function. For B, if I go straight down, you can see it intersects here and it intersects here. More than one spot, that is not a function. And remember, um, in a function, X cannot, that's important, repeat, okay? So then if I go down here, it doesn't matter, straight line, there it goes. There's only one place that it can intersect. Therefore, that's a function. If I do this one right here, I can see there's two spots right there, no function. And then finally, this line here, and if you look, this is a positive slope. Remember, this goes uh, from left to right going up. Only place is one, so therefore we have three. These are the types of problems. You'll get a box as the answer choice instead of a circle, so be mindful for that. 
because it says check all that apply. So you can have uh, one, two, three, four, even all five of them could be. I'm not saying that you'll ever get that, but there is the possibility of doing that. So make sure that you're getting the right answers there. And then number eight, number eight, we're gonna find the slope uh, with a line passing through two points. So how do we find slope with, uh, with two points? I'm gonna show you a foolproof way of doing it. Usually you'll do the slope formula where it's y2 minus y1 over x1 minus x2 or x2y. It just gets too confusing for me. I don't like teaching it that way, but uh, there is a formula for it. So let's do it this way because I find that it's easier. You ever get two points, you gotta find the slope. Go ahead and take your two points, stack them. So I'm putting both points right on top of each other and then subtract them just like this. So let's just make sure you're aware this is the X and this is the Y. All coordinates are done as X comma Y, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm just finding the difference in the X's and the difference in the Y's, just like I, I showed you in that slide a, a couple of pages ago. So when I do this, I wanna subtract negative four minus two. Remember you have the calculator on your screen. I encourage you to use your calculator as often as possible. Under the test situation, it's stressful. There's a lot going on. You don't wanna be screwing up with these negative signs and saying negative four minus two is negative two when actually it's negative six. So be careful with that and use your calculator. I'm just gonna write it out for you so you can see negative four minus two, negative six. So I'll do the other one here, four minus negative three, four minus negative three. And remember, you can't have two negatives. When you get two negatives, they turn into a positive. So be aware of that, because that happens a lot, and they want you to be uh, aware of that. So that's gonna give me seven. And I go seven right here. Now remember, slope, we saw before, Slope is the change in y over the change in x. So this is, which one is our x and which one is our y? So if we look, that's why we put x and y up top. We have seven over negative six. Doesn't matter where the negative is, top or bottom, it's gonna make the whole thing negative. Therefore, our answer is going to be b, negative seven over six. Okay.